Okay, so our weather today, yes, we do yeah. have a little bit of rain in our forecast, so not a bad idea to okay. grab the umbrella, but there's one spot that has a larger chance than everybody else, and it's you along the coast. Mm. So here's a look at our Memorial City camera. We're dry. We have a little bit of cloud cover out there, so say goodbye to that bright sunshine we had yesterday. So I hope you got the boys out. It was such a beautiful oh, afternoon. Uh, so we're waking up with temps in the 50s, so that's the upside. Because the clouds and the rain in our forecast, we at least get a break from those cold mornings. So we're waking up in the 50s, 53 degrees here in Houston, 59 in Galveston, light winds coming in from the east. So we have fairly calm winds out there. Here's a look at exact track radar. You can see those showers spreading in from the south and west. It's going to clip us right along the coast. Yes, we could see a few showers here in town, but the majority of them are really going to be along the shore. Line. So currently, we're seeing them spread closer to Bay City, working their way towards Lake Jackson. All these showers are fairly light, nothing that you need to worry about, but just make sure that you're prepared. Grab your umbrella before you leave your door. By 10 a.m., we still have temps in the 50s. We'll bump up our rain chances to 20% before lunchtime, then 30% this afternoon. Temperatures getting into the mid 60s, so a nice mild January day. Now, as we give you a wider view, you can see the, mo the movement of this storm. It's stretching up to the north and east, so that's why it's just going to clip us, the majority of it is actually going to stay over the open water and then push into Louisiana. So we stay mild today. This area of high pressure is leaving us, so that's why we'll have those rain showers with this coastal low zooming on by. But you can tell on our future cast model that most of those showers do remain offshore. Then we have a cold front for tomorrow. No rain with it, but it does bring a little bit of a cool down. So our cooler temperatures in the forecast for Friday into the weekend, and it's really going to get cold behind the system plunging out of the Rockies. So, of course, because it's coming from the Rockies, it's going to pull in some cooler air. So Saturday, another chance of some rain showers. Keep in mind in the Panhandle, they will see snow. So if you're doing a little bit of weekend traveling up to the Panhandle, expect some winter conditions. With that system on Saturday, we really start to cool down, and that's going to play into our forecast for our Houston Marathon. It's going to be dry, but we will have some breezy conditions for the beginning of the race. Temperatures in the 40s, the winds relax in the afternoon, and then we end up in the upper 50s. And yes, you saw a hurricane behind me. It is January. Folks, and we actually have our first name system of the season subtropical storm Alex way out in the Atlantic. Take a look at your 10 day forecast. Don't worry about Alex, folks. It's heading towards Greenland, it's not going to get too strong, but definitely something very interesting to talk about in January. On your 10 day forecast, we do have those coastal showers for today. Could see an isolated shower here in town, and then we'll dry things out for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a fantastic day, more humidity, but very comfortable, and then we will rebound and salvage mm. our Sunday. For a dry second half of the weekend. All right, Britta.